Previously on Dragon Quest Builders. Huh? What do you mean that's cheating? Just because I didn't make it myself? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that qualifies as cheating. Oh, come on. We don't have to worry about a little thing like that. Don't be such a stick, stick, stick in the mud. Um, you're not gonna tell Clobberina, are you? Here, I'll give you this amazing pizza piece of furniture I made. Just don't tell on me, okay? Wow, we went to bribery now. And now, back to rebuilding Alfgard and making the Dragon Lord pay for it. Welcome, Mares and Stallions. My name is Moonsaber, and welcome to episode 14 of our Let's Play of Dragon Quest Builders. So in the previous episode, we took care of a few side quests, like repairing a graveyard and helping a hammerhood cheat at a gardening competition, which got us a new blueprint in the process. Let's take a quick look at this just to make sure. Yeah, we still need the medical shrubs and the coral weed and the dap faux days. Which we'll all be getting in due time. And in this so in this episode, we're gonna continue along working through the main story. And see what we can get done. Now I'm gonna have to do a bit of uh so Bit of information about what's going on. By the time this video gets posted onto YouTube, I will be currently out on a bit of a vacation for the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, I'm going to be away from my recording station and I won't be able to create new videos in a timely manner. So, for the so between today, which should be Wednesday up until Saturday all of you're gonna I will have one video that's been of Dragon Quest Builders recorded and scheduled to be posted on each of those days so you uh, guys won't be without content but I won't be able to like respond back to uh, comments or read your feedback until I get back on either it'll be like the end of Saturday or at the very latest Sunday in that regard, also, the Spiral Reignited Let's Play that's currently going on uh, will be put on hold until I get back, because I prefer doing that one. I don't want to get too far ahead of the game, too far ahead of the game, of that game, because I enjoy playing with, playing along with you guys and reading you guys' reactions, seeing how much you like or dislike it. So anyway, I know it's a bit of a, I apologize for that bit of uh, inconvenience, but it was the best solution I could think of at the time. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk with uh, LaRousse here. As it turns into dusk on the on a day, and see what he wants us to do. Hmm. You've gone and done it again, haven't you, Moonsay? Building that furnace. What? It's a nice furnace, alright? Really compliments the studio. How many times do I have to tell you? Should you keep this up, the monsters will bring their full force to bear on us. And I don't just mean any old monsters. Should mankind grow too powerful, that ruinous beast will return to make short work of us all. In fact, I fear he may already be on his way. Moonsay, do you think you could do me a favor? I've drawn up plans for a watchtower that will let us keep watch over a far greater distance. I'd like you to build it just as I've designed. I'm sure that well within the, that's well within the abilities of a builder like you, but please hurry. We may not have much time. So he wants us to create him a watchtower. It's a small blueprint. So I'll slap it right here. It requires just some earth, some ivy, some stone steps, and a brazier. Alright, let's pull out the equipment we need. We need 29 earth. So let's pull out 29 earth. We need some ivy. It requires four ivy, so I need to go and get some ivy. Let's double. Shouldn't be that too hard to find some ivy around here. There we 
yeah. Now we now we four. We need a brazier. Which we don't have. It looks like we got the stone steps. Let's go back and see if, uh, if we can make that brazier. He's got himself a war hammer now. Nice, I want that. All right, we need the stone steps. Place one right there. He's a ivy right there. Pop another stone step down there. So we can place one here. One here. Ah. I'm working here. Go away. Alright. Now then we'll need to place... Another stone step right there. And place some earth down. And then we should no, place some ivy right there. And then finally we'll make a turn over here. So we can place the last bit of earth. I'm gonna need another. Uh, I just need one, so I can jump high enough to be able to place that. There we go. And then finally, we need the brazier. Oops. To be placed right there. And that completes the watchtower blueprint. Yay! Ah, Moonsave. You finally finished the watchtower. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Nah, it wasn't that much trouble. What? Am I going to keep watch? Yeah, I mean, you asked for the watchtower, so that would imply that you were going to keep watch. I should think so. I want to be the first to know if that fiend were on its way. Has Magnus told you how it was the golem who used to guard Kathleen that ultimately destroyed the city? Yep. If Kathleen and its people should rise again, the golem is sure to come back and finish the job. Hmm, possibly. I've been told this, that story ever since I was a boy. Rollo told you what he read in the Catlin Chronicle, did he not? He told me a bit, but I haven't seen the book yet, and I think he... And so, I'm not sure. The only way this land can truly be freed from the darkness is by defeating the monster who rules all the others. Make no mistake, Moonsay. This ruler is none other than Catlin's former guardian. The gigantic golem. <gasps> dun dun dun! You can't tell right now, but I am clearly in a shocked expression. Like, I did not see that coming at all. We don't know when it's going to strike, but when it does, we humans won't stand a chance. Take it from me, Moonsade. You should be prepared to flee at any moment. 
But I'm gonna give you these three iron ingots because I think you're swell. Well, that's foreboding as all get out. Anyway. Let's go on to talk with Rollo. See what he's got to say. Hey, Rollo. What's the matter, Moonsabe? That's an awfully frowny face you're wearing. Has Loros been filling your head with stories of doom and destruction again? My, I mean, it's not like he doesn't have a valid point. Pay no attention to that grouchy gloom, monger. You're not dead yet, my boy. My boy! And what's more, I've deciphered another chapter of the Catalin Chronicle. Ooh, do tell. It describes a staggeringly strong defensive structure that uses those evil idols you've recovered. It's known as the Steel Stockade, and it will make our town nigh impossible for the monsters to breach. Here, Moonsave, take this blueprint and build the Steel Stockade it depicts. Obviously, you'll want to build it on the west side of the city. You might need to knock down the old defenses to make space. I don't know how you'll build the steel doors that form the stockade centerpiece, but I'm sure you'll be able to work out something. Hmm, steel doors, huh? Wait, steel doors? <gasps> I just realized! I know how to make a set of steel doors! Functional, massive double doors made solely out of steel can be opened or closed. Score 500 points. So yes, we have a steel stockade we need to make. But we're going to have to break down our old defenses first. Sorry, defenses. Nothing personal. I just need room. Steel stockade blueprint. Which we will need to. Hmm. So that's clear, but that's not clear. Alright, let's try. like maybe two more blocks. Don't want to break that uh, building. There we go. Yep, right on the edge. So, we have the steel stockade. We require 78 stone wall, 10 barricades, 1 steel door, 2 scones, 2 evil isles, and 24 spike traps. Let's place our two. Uh, let's just start with that. Let's see. First, let me look through my items. Do not have any scones. Let me. So we'll have to make two of those real fast. Unless there's. Chest here. Nope. Alright, two scones. Let's see. Over here. Let's make so one we'll make five barricades. We'll need some more spike traps. We need more stone for stone walls, and our steel door requires more steel ingots. Which we'll need more iron ingots now.
the signs. We're gonna have to go to Hammerton Heights and mine for some stone. Alright, so let's look. So yeah, we need to place one there, place one there. dirt so I can get back up here. But I first need to place the foundation down. Here's our steel door. That's a big old steel door. Barricades, which can go here, 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 and here. Now let's start placing down the stone blocks we do have. Oh, we need to take this one higher. Let's see, that should be, uh, so right there, yeah. I do have these stone okay. So let's see if we can just sneak our way through here. If I do this. Yeah, that counts. Awesome. Make things easier for me. Yay. stone walls are in place so that's a nice way if you have some extra stone clotting and you don't want to go and mine for more stone that's a good way to uh, alternative anyway we've got some spike traps we got placed down and then of course these things Maybe I'll be facing just
have to, fortunately, I have to break my own wall here for a bit so I can. Fit these stupid things in there so they're facing the right way. And then we'll just repair the wall. Like so. Now to place the spike traps. And try not to get burned. Because, yep, those things are still active and they will still hurt you. And there we go. With that done, we have completed our steel stockade. By my bold and beautiful brow, you've completed the steel stockade. Now our city is safe from any attack. Three cheers for Moonsave! Hip hip! What? Is the stockade truly strong enough to keep the golem at bay? And that is a good point. I mean, I've seen golems and they're not to be messed with. Don't you remember, Moonsafe? The golem was on our side. It watched over the people of Catalina and protected them from harm. Ah, hmm. So yeah, I mean, he did help, but then he also... I've been told that... Yeah, you're right, he did, he did help the people of Catalina, but I've also been told that he's the one who destroyed them. I don't know what LaRouche is trying to convince you of, but there's no way that golem would ever harm us. Besides, it's unthinkable that a creature who once served mankind would become the leader of the monster's forces. I mean, you make a good point. There's simply no basis to this silly story of his. He's doing nothing but stirring up unrest. It's people like LaRouche who hold back a city's progress, you know? We might have to do something about him. No, 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 we're not going in that direction. I don't care what you say, we are not about to do that. I am not gonna be the ones that do that. But anyway, good work, Moonsay. Our new defenses are second to none. Bwahaha! And we get a seed of life for our trouble. Excellent. Nom nom nom. 95 health. Awesome. Clean that up a bit. Alright. So, let's see. We need the two medical herbs and one more for the purple flower. Let's head off here. Just to round up the episode, let's go ahead and see if we can find those last. I think, if I remember, the Daffle Daisy won't be until we get to the third zone. But I'll have to do a bit of research on that. Just to make sure that I'm not leading you guys astray. See if we can 
find a purple flower. Soon it'll be daylight and they'll be gone. Like so. Yeah, no purple flowers. Might be worth taking the ender. Yeah, these are definitely white flowers. trying to collect some flowers, alright? Do you really have to be all like this? Like, do we really have to do this? I just want to... you know where I can find a purple flower? Like, that's really all I need. The endless search for a purple flower. I may have to look this up later. If I can't find one. That would be a mighty pain in the butt. to go ahead and look this up, but let's head back to the base, getting nothing productive done, mm. well, except for that steel stockade. Mmm, tasty. Alrighty, so with that, let's go ahead and place the medical herbs down. He's got that check mark off. Flower garden turned into a grassy garden. But yeah, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and call an end to this episode. So, thank you all so very much for watching this. 
and I hope you all are having a great day. Take care, and bye-bye.